I don't know, have you ever heard about this flying disc thing, whatever? No, I saw him. What? I saw them. Oh, you saw them? Sure. You mean flying around or what? Yeah. Woody Swan could. And I went on a business trip in a B-25 to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And Woody, uh, had, uh, we all, we, uh, uh, I don't know if I, we were just getting flying time or not, but Woody had some business up there, and he, we took a B-25 up there. And we were standing on the ramp, and uh, one of uh, I don't know how many, it was there about three or four of us standing there, and the guy says, hey, look it up there, what are those things? And we looked to the north of Albuquerque, and we saw three disc-shaped, they, well, they could tell, you know, uh, when you're looking at them head on, they they didn't have uh, tails, uh, you couldn't, and they, they were quite a ways away, but we could see them, and they were coming south, and then all of a sudden, they made left-hand turns to the east, and disappeared from sight. Well. Before they disappeared from sight, though, somebody jumped up in the cockpit and called the tower at Albuquerque mm -hmm. on the radio and said, hey, you guys see those things up to the north? And they said, yeah, we were been watching them. They, they told the guy, we've been watching them through the glasses. And then they made that turn to the left, and we never saw them again. And when we got back to Roswell that night, there were all kinds of radio report, uh, reports on the radio of people had seen these th uh, flying objects that they could not identify, and uh, those are the same things that we saw. We don't know what they were. I was at a guy's house here in Cheyenne, and uh, somebody mentioned flying saucers, and I told him my story. He said, hell, he said, I saw one land, and this saw the people. People got out of it, and then they went, got back in and took off. 